welcome back once again to howtocookwithfood.com. If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe to us. On the menu today, I'm going to make a fantastic, I mean, I really love this. It's really simple. A bacon, potato, and cheese bake. Let me run through some ingredients. Of course, I've got some lovely bacon here. I'm using the smoked bacon, and I've chopped it up into small bits. Use whatever bacon you like. I've got about equal parts of sliced onion. Again, I'm using a red, but if you want to use a white onion, go for it. Potatoes, peeled and cut into kind of irregular shapes, but you know, fairly, you know, the same sort of size, bite-sized pieces. A little tip, this is the container that we're gonna be making the whole dish in. So what I do is I cut my potatoes into that, then I know exactly how much I need. I've got like a teaspoon there of finely chopped garlic. I've got some salt, I've got some pepper. I'm using a little bit of dried thyme today, but go for some oregano, rosemary, basil, it's entirely up to you. I just like the thyme with this. And then here I've got some smoked paprika. It's gonna give it a lovely, lovely flavor. Be careful with paprika because it comes in a hot chili thyme or a very sweet or the smoked. Smoked is what I would recommend. We're gonna use some cheese, of course. We're gonna use some cream. It's gonna have a nice creamy kind of base to it. But the first thing we need to do is let's get these potatoes into some water, bring them to the boil. We don't want them completely cooked, just slightly undercooked. Let's do that. Okay, so I've got a pan here, as you can see. Cold water in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, not too much, just a little bit. And then what we're gonna do, bring that to the boil, and I'm gonna probably, once it's boiled, keep it on a rolling boil, just for maybe four to five minutes. Back then. Okay, so these are kind of where I want them to be. Got a little bite to them, but you know, still holding together nice and strong. What I'm gonna do now is drain these off, discard the water, set them aside, move on to the next stage. Okay, so I've drained those potatoes off, set them aside. I'm using the same pan now. I'm gonna drop in a touch of oil. I'm using an olive oil. You can use any oil you like. I'm now gonna drop in, on a high heat here, our onions. And our bacon. And that teaspoon of chopped garlic. Some black pepper, a little touch of salt. I mean, again, don't forget you've got your bacon here, which is quite salty, some more than others. A little bit of that thyme, and some of our. Most paprika. So like I said, I'm on a high heat here. And we're just gonna let this go for about four to five minutes. Keep stirring it. I want it slightly crispy, but not kind of really burnt. So I'll see you. Yeah, in about four or five minutes. This is coming along really nicely and just where I want it. Starting to brown nicely on the edges. Our bacon is surely cooked. It's gonna lower the heat now. Now we get to the creamy part. So I'm now gonna add some cooking cream. And I've got here like half a litre, 500 ml straight cooking cream or single cream. Choice is yours. I'm now gonna add a nice bit of Parmesan cheese. Give that a stir. Wonderful. What a wonderful color that's turned into, as you can see. Now to top, this, is, this sauce is gonna go onto our potatoes. 
and then on top of the potatoes and the sauce goes the cheese of your choice. As you can see here, I've got some grated cheese. I'm using an Emmental, but a cheddar or something like that works just as well. Now I want to just grab a little bit of this. Not too much, because we have to save most of it back to go on top. Just to go into the sauce. Wonderful. So we can go off with the heat. Give that a taste for salt and pepper, but I'm sure you won't need to add any more salt to that. That's done, let's go over to our potatoes. So there we go, there's our potatoes that we cooked earlier in our Pyrex dish, or you can use any dish you like. You could use a metal tray, in fact, anything you like that could go in the oven. Simply, we're gonna get our sauce now, a lovely paprika, smoky, bacon, cream. Oh wow, this is exciting me. I am loving this. So just pack all of this sauce in there. There's no need to mix it, because it will I'm gonna go in the oven now and it will all find its way around and settle down beautifully. Like I said, I've got some Emmental here, but like I say, you could use a, you could use any cheese you like, in fact. Look at that lovely little layer on the top. In that goes. I'm just gonna add a little bit of black pepper on the top there. Right, every single thing in this is already cooked. We're not trying to cook anything now, apart from that cheese. So get your oven to the maximum point you can. Get it really nice and hot. Pop this baby in. We just want that to go golden brown. It will all come together. That's gonna go in my oven for about six minutes, I would imagine. All ovens are different. I'll see you when it comes out. And there we go. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, this one comes with a guarantee. It's just really tasty. Wonderful, doesn't take that long, it's fairly cheap as well. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you again soon. Take care, bye bye.